check one, check two, check one. Man, we are back and we are live. Back and blacker than ever. <laughs> what it do, man? This is DJ AI, and I am here with my brother from another mother. The class clown that finally made it, Iceman. Hey, what it do, man? We are back. So, this is a con- continuing episode. We, we, we had to come back, man, to, to finish our uh, 96 to 06 debate. Yeah, we had to come back and finish uh, diving in just to... Because we had to prove the point on this. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we man. had to prove the point on this. And what's crazy is I, I've heard a, a few people just telling them about what we're talking about, started doing their own research yeah. and, and looking up and be like, man, this album came out, this album came out. I was in high school. I was in middle mm-hmm. school. Mm-hmm. I got this for Christmas. I remember this. The, the edit version, all yep, type of yep. different things, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, man, 96 to 06, man. We just had um our brother Prof on here, and he said 95, 95 to 05, which was we actually dived into 95 on that episode. And uh, that's a good cool. argument. That's yeah. a good argument. That's a good argument. Cool. You know, we put up our argument with the – why we needed 06 in there. Yes. But uh, 95 definitely wasn't, wasn't nothing to sneeze at. No. Anything in that, I say anything hip-hop-wise from like that 91 to all the way up to what we talking about. For sure. Like you could be in a safe space with that. I wouldn't be too upset. It's just that you got to cut it off somewhere. Yeah, j- just... We're, we're missing the chronic and doggy style, which are going to be chronic, the main Chronic, doggy ones. style, and ready to die. Yes. Those are the three we missing out of there. And I can definitely listen to those albums uh, any I day. I still listen to them. Still listen to them. Any in day. rotation. They are still in rotation. 1,000%. 1, also, man, I, I got to put it out there. We are going to super duper deep dive in ready to die. Yeah. Just because, like I said, that's that's one of our joints that we listen to all the time for sure. So, yeah, man. So we left off um, at ninety nine. Yeah, we about to start ninety nine. So uh, I'll let you go ahead and take ninety nine. I'm gonna get into like two thousands area because that was okay. that was really my. When my eyes had opened up and oh, I, yeah. I, I was becoming uh, becoming finding myself. So okay. I'll let you go ahead and take over 99. I'll jump in a little later. Okay. For me, n- No Limit never ended, but this was the beginning of No Limit's fall off for me, if, if that's safe to say. Yeah, it is. Um, Silk the Shocker May Man was in here. I can't remember a single on there. Oh, it ain't my fault. Part two. And I, I, I didn't like that one. I didn't like the beat and how they tried to remix it and throw them weird sounds in there. Nah, bro. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Um, yeah tear did. the club up, thugs. Crazy in the last days. Mm. Now, that was the start of something. That was the start of something. <laughs> <laughs> one thing dies, something else begins. Hey, straight up. <laughs> For that, real. That man, was the start of something right there. That was a lot of people's probably first time even hearing them because if I'm not mistaken, I want to say player while you hating was on here. Let's see. Oh, oh, slapping my knob was on here. Come on, man. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Hypnotize Cash Money was on here. And hold on, man. They they had a uh maybe it wasn't on here, but either way, slop on my knob still gets sampled. Still a cla- uh, classic. Classic song. You hear what Juicy J said about that shit? Oh, yeah, how much he gets a percentage of it? Well, just uh, when he wrote it. He was just in high school. Like, just bullshitting. What? Yeah, he said he wrote Slob on my knob in fucking high school, in like 11th, 10th, 11th grade. Damn, I don't know if my mind was that dirty then. Oh, it was. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it definitely was. Bro, squeeze on my nuts, lick on my butt, bro. Bruh, come on. I wrote... <sighs> I hope my mama don't hear this. <laughs> I wrote my first song I ever wrote was called Hey Bitch. I was in like sixth grade, bro. Damn. <laughs> bro, and it was it was terrible too. But like I literally rhymed every cuss word that could rhyme. <laughs> 
I literally rhymed every cuss word that could rhyme in that song, bro. Damn. Yeah. So him writing that in 10th or 11th grade, that's very believable, bro. But the fact that it's still around. He's a goat for that. Oh, come on. He's come a on, goat man. for that, man. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, I got to stick with my no limit, Mr. Servon. It, it wasn't a good album, but I got to put him on there. Eminem, the Slim Shady LP. Game changer. Game changer. I never forget my mom told me she heard that guy on the radio, and he was just talking, and it was Eminem. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Uh, for the old heads, Sebo, uh, C Murder, Bossolini. That was um he had a song in there with Nate Dogg, you know, love West Coast music, corrupting mm-hmm. dads, love that song. Um Harlem World. Damn. What was the single off of here? Cause I remember, you know, Mace was a big deal. This mug went gold, so it, it holds some kind of weight. Let me see. No, I got everything on there. Skippity skip skip. Uh greatest hits, greatest hits. We're not giving them no love. Crazy bone thug mentality. 1999. This was a double disc. And we already told you double discs were a big deal back in the day. But I remember mm-hmm. he sampled all the noise on here with Murder Mo. If I don't know anything, I know that song for sure. Um, Nas I Am. To me, this is one of Nas's best albums. I think that he had. This had very big songs on here. Um, hold on. Okay. That's the leaked track list. I'm about to say, that ain't right. New York State of Mind Part 2. I love that DJ Premier beat. Hate Me Now. Mm. Classic. 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 By itself. Classic. Um, you Won't See Me Tonight. That was um, with Aaliyah. Timbaland made the beat. Nas is like, life is what you make it. Man. Yeah. Um, we Will Survive. Favor for a Favor with Scarface. I really liked this uh, Nas album that was one of my that was my favorite Nas album until Stillmatic came out, and Stillmatic mm-hmm. is still to me number one. Right, right. B G Chopper City in the Ghetto. I got to give this man a shout out because he passed away recently. M F Doom. Yeah, I, I never really listened to Doom like that, but people hold him high on a pedestal, so I'm gonna give him the respect on that. Little Soldiers Boot Camp. That's a big deal because we were kids. Little kids were on no limit, <laughs> and they were rapping. That was a big rapping. That was a big deal. Classic album. This next one, Rough Riders, Ride or Die, Volume One. This was a huge deal when it came out because of Down Bottom, Jigga My Nigga. It was is another. Uh, I want to say big big song on here, but. Jigga My Nigga was a big deal. This is this is kind of like we always talk about like when Timbaland became his thing. This is when Swiss Beats became Who's his. Becoming Swiss Beats. Oh, yeah, for sure. What you want? Oh, what you want? Mm-hmm. Damn, Can't that was on touch. there too? Yeah, that was on there. See, Swiss Beats, down bottom with a drag on a juvenile. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. This is when Swiss Beats became Swiss Beats. Damn. Yeah, classic. Uh, the fake Chronic came out, uh, Chronic 2000. See, and I don't think a lot of people know that's why 2001 is called 2001. Yeah, Suge Knight definitely tried to uh, sneak Dre with this one. Yeah, he tried to go ahead and, because he knew the Chronic was coming out and it was going to be the Chronic 2000. Oh, yeah. So, so Suge puts out, the Chronic 2000, so Dre can't. So that's why he has to call it 2000. I don't even think it's called The Chronic. It's if just, you look it up, it's called 2001. Damn. I looked that up when we get down there. I I it, believe so. I believe it's just called 2000. Because it came out in 99. Yeah. I bought that CD like three or four times. No joke. I remember the see-through green case, all that. You ever seen the, uh, the Up and Smoke tour? Highlights. <sighs> Haven't seen the whole thing all the way through. I think it might be on YouTube now, too. I'm pretty sure it is. I had it on DVD, I think. Everybody was there. Oh, my God, bro. Exhibit, Snoop, Ice Cube, Everybody. The whole West West Side Connection. Was Eminem on there, too? Yes. Yes. How much were those tickets? 
See, I don't know, bro. Because that right there, to bruh, me, with Drake, that lineup, is bigger than a Beyonce Jay Z concert. Everybody, I believe everybody that was on that album was at that show. Oh my lord! So you had Dre, Snoop, Eminem, and on the uh, on with Eminem was a pro. Uh, yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember. Dude from D12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah, they gonna kill me for that too. Yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah, him, and then they had Ice Proof. Cube. Yeah, Proof. <laughs> Proof. I, I, I call him Prof. Because <laughs> Prof was just here. Yeah, yeah. Proof. Uh, Ice Cube, West Side Connection. Because that's when, oh, that's the world famous dub C Crip Walk on the Crip Walk on the stage. Yeah. Yes, that's Ooh. where that comes from. Fucking Nate Dog was there, bruh. Devin <sighs> the Dude was there, bruh. Oh, like, my goodness. It was fucking crazy, bro. If bruh. anybody went to that, and you please know how much let us know. Please let us know. I, I, I would love us to know. hear about the experience and how much the ticket costs because I know money is different now. And they definitely came here because on the DVD they it shows them outside of Conseco Field. It was Conseco then. Yeah. It shows them that's not where the show is shot at, but they were showing clips of the different cities. It might have been RCA it, Dome. Nah, it was Conseco. This was like they were at two thousand. So oh my this was goodness. Conseco. I, I, I want to know how much those tickets cost. I wonder if I can look that up. But yeah, this Chronic uh, Suge Knight album, no. Yeah, just, yeah, that that was a whole... I'm, I'm going to check it out, though, just because, but uh, yeah. yeah it, it was no. it was uh, terrible with duds, terrible with duds. Uh, so, uh, your, your guy yeah, is Who? on, uh, well, your, your group, No Limit Again with Snoop Dogg. Woo, that's No right. Limit Top Dogg. Yes, one of Snoop's best albums. I feel like this is when Snoop became himself on No Limit because the first album, he kind of, he made it a No Limit sound, but this one, he became like back to Snoop Dogg. So, um, Buckham, first song on here. One of the one of the most, I'm going to say top 10 songs ever, I'm sorry. Down for my niggas. Oh, yeah. That was on here. Oh, that was on that. And Bitch Please was on here. Ah, oh. That's enough oh. because everybody knows those songs. For sure. I mean, I know a lot more songs on here like Just Dipping and Ghetto Symphony. So, And that's when he much. went back and was getting Dre beats. Yes. So Dre is, did is Bitch is Please. Is Lalo on there? Or is that the next album? That's the next one. Lalo is the next album. Yes. Okay. That was a big deal because uh, Master P was on there. On the Master Dre P beat. was on the Dre beat, bro. Yeah, hey, man. Everybody can't say that. Everybody can't say Every- I think he had like eight bars, too, or something like oh, that, yeah. bro. But- and he was last. Oh, yeah. Oh, what yeah. up? Pimping his P and Snoop. Snoop with Dre on the beat. He this ain't nothing but loot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you, you get that one, P, forever. Oh, forever, forever. Okay, let me see what else we got. I'm going to have to give a shout-out for my pops, A-Ball MJG in our lifetime. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say this next one, Slick Rick, The Art of Storytelling, because when Outkast made the song, The Art of Storytelling, that is one of the greatest songs of all time. That is a song that I know word to word, front Mm -hmm. to back. So, yeah, got to give him a shout out. The next one, No Limit Records, Who You With. This is when Master P made it to the NBA, (laughs) (laughs) and he had a whole album about basketball. But Fiend, what? I've never heard that shit. He redid We're Playing Basketball. He was just Who doing you with? whatever. Who you with? Who you with? <laughs> he was just doing whatever the fuck he wanted he to, a, bro. He got a video and everything. I, I I definitely gotta look that up. Yes. I definitely I'm not that deep into no limit oh, like you yeah. so yeah. Oh, I, I definitely gotta look that shit I, up. I can give boys no limit class. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> but uh Fiend had a song on there with straight basketball sounds like like the Nike commercial, and it was fire. If you go, if you go to Fiend's greatest hits or best of Fiend, it's on there. So yeah, go check that out. Um, this is the beginning of the Ja Rule area because y'all be dogging him out like he was trash, bro. And I, I, I can't feel it. Now I, I'm a Gorilla Unit guy too, G G G G Unit. But this Vinny Vetti Vinci was yeah. the beginning of Ja Rule. Yep. Don't act like that. The, the guy got hits, hits, hits. This next one, oh man, no, no, no limit just ran this shit. This is ridiculous. TRU the Crime Family. Mm-hmm. Great album. Mace, double up. I think this is when he started getting a little churchy. 
I don't recall of anything. <sighs> I'm gonna see if, if if I know what's saying. I mean, it sold a hundred. It sold a hundred and seven thousand in the first week. So because it was Mace, he just had the name. Oh, but okay. I, I don't know any songs off of there. Oh, this next one is a classic. Missy, the real world. Yep. Yeah. I want to say Hot Boy is on here. I ain't, I, I ain't got to look. Yeah. She's a bitch is on here. She had um, Cash Money was on here. Juvenile BG was on the song. She had Method Man, Red Man on the song. She had, she gave Eminem a whole song on here. Yeah. And Cymbal and Chains it beat up twice. Straight fire. Okay, next, No Limit Again, Fiend, Street Life. Street Life is one of the greatest No Limit albums of all time. He was spitting some real stuff. Um, Too Short, Can't Stay Away. Too Short is still making music to this day. He is now in a group called Mount Westmore. It is Too Short, Ice Cube, Snoop Dogg, and E-40. If you love West Coast music, you can't get any more West Coast than that. All those guys. It's Snoop, E-40, Too Short, and Ice, Ice Cube. Cube as one God. group. Mount Westmore. <sighs> bro. Nigga. I, 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 I don't think. I need I a hard copy. Oh, bro. I need, I need a I need vinyl. A vinyl. I need everything. I need, I need everything. When I, when I tell y'all, just Snoop and Ice Cube alone is a big deal. Like I said, Ice Cube is my favorite rapper of all time. He hasn't made nothing super duper great, but I always find something in there. Mm-hmm. Still, first three albums are classics because all of his stuff he was talking about then is still relevant to this day. And that mm-hmm. means so much to me. But then you add E-40 and too short to that. If they, they can do eight bars a piece on every song, and I'm going to be happy. Bro, I was just sitting here trying to think how they even go. But that's probably what they did. Two verses, eight bars a piece. Yeah. And then, like Hot Boys used to do, give, it, give everybody a solo song. Yeah. Fuck, bro. Give give Too Short his bitch song. You know you know that's coming. Yeah. Bitch. Get him, get Cube his, his song, get 40 his song, Come get Snoop on, his song. And then, shit, all y'all got to do is six other songs yeah, together. That's eight bars a piece. And I know y'all have songs that y'all already done that y'all can redo and update with better better production and stuff. So that's going to... Man, did you know Snoop Dogg dropped an album yesterday? No. They said it was his 18th album. And I'm sitting there like, damn, because I damn near have every Snoop album. Now, I never got the church one. Lord, forgive me. (laughs) <laughs> uh, I never got the uh reggae one. I don't want to hear that. No, nah, I ain't get the reggae one. But I think the last one I did buy an actual was a disc was that Bush, and that was fire. Bush was so hard. I I think Snoop should do more music like that. Hell yeah, I mean, but it call for real. Yeah, I think he, I think he's more in his pocket with that type of music. Yes. He seemed to, like we're just listening as fans, but he seemed to have more fun. Yeah, making those making songs. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Those were really, really good songs on that album, man. Oh my goodness! Woo! Well, now you see what's next. Hot Boys Guerrilla Warfare, mm. one of the greatest. No limit. I mean, oh, forgive me. Cash Money albums yep. ever. Yeah. That had Hot Girl on it, uh, Hot Boys on Fire, uh, Respect My Mind and Get Your Brains Blown Out, Tuesday and Thursday. And I'm just freestyling this off top of the dome. Yeah, just off yeah. of just off of complete memory. And see, what's crazy is after hearing Turk rap on here, I thought his solo album was going to be good because he had a solo song on here. And it was really good, but no. <laughs> uh, this is the beginning of Memphis Bleak. Yeah. Coming of age. Mm-hmm. Um, Ooh. I I don't know. What you going to catch this, this Violator album. Oh, that's what I'm about to say. <laughs> I that had, Violator album was, yeah. I had all of those, and, and those were a big deal. I, I really wish we can get back to this, and maybe they have them, and I don't see them, but just compilations. Yeah. 
getting artists together. And that's why the Mount Westmore is going to be a big deal to me because of that. I think the closest things we get to that now is like the DJ albums. So like with DJ Khaled put out his albums or something and that, like and that's that. that's coming. That, that's that's close to that's pretty much what it is now the compilation it's just the DJs doing it now drama Khaled shit like that so, I, can't, I can't argue that yeah that's pretty much what that is now um okay Mob Deep Murder Music yep 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 man this is my guy I gotta give him a shout out Mac 10 mm-hmm. Puff Daddy Forever is that the Godzilla track on there I, I don't think I've heard this album before Forever. Oh, Satisfy You is on here though. He ain't gonna do you like I do. They sample loonies. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Smoking platinum. Damn. Okay. No, no, no shade on that one. Because I always thought that uh, Satisfy You, I always thought that was just a, a basically a part two of the R. Kelly and uh, Biggie. The fuck are you tonight? Oh, yeah. It sounds exactly like it. And it's with Damn, R. Kelly. I didn't even think about it like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm fucking you tonight. Yeah. And another one. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what I always was like, eh, it's just another version of that. Yeah, it's crazy because I think I said this before, man. I'm always skeptical on playing R. Kelly songs when I DJ because I don't know how people feel about it. But it's like I've had weddings where they'd be like, "We want to hear Step in the Name of Love, the last song of the night." Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's, I, it's tricky. Most people I see, I mean, you still find people that just don't fuck with them, and I don't have any issue with that. Like I no. definitely understand it. But I mean, I think most people they separate the two. Like I his do. music has nothing to do with what he's doing. Like me, like his music doesn't mean I agree with what he doesn't yeah. like. But that's with any artist. Man. It's with any artist to me because how oh, you listen to him, he do man. I don't care. That motherfucking song hard. Hey, I fuck with Thanos too. <laughs> <laughs> like for real, nigga, hey. like them rings is fly, nigga. Like <laughs> shit, <laughs> yeah, for real, bro. Hey. Like come on, straight up, man. So shit, it, but yeah, that it's, that's always a, a iffy one. Um, what you got next? Hold on, where do we? Hold on, I got another no limit. I Ma- see it, magic, magic thugging. I can't find that CD nowhere, man. R.I.P. to Magic too. Him and I think him and his wife died in a car crash. Damn. Yeah. Sad. Sad, man. So R.I.P. to him. Uh, ooh, another Eve. another beginning. Yeah, Eve. Eve. Let there be Eve. That was a big deal. Oh, look at this. Hold on, bro. This is all the same day. So ooh. Eve. Let there be Eve. O.D.B. Nigga, please. And Project Pat Getty Green. Project Pat Classic Getty Green. Project Pat Classic Getty Green. And then he got, I think, either next year or the year after is, well, Mr. Don't Play. It's two years, yeah. We'll get to that. But yeah, bro, all that shit came out on the same day. That's nuts. What's and cra- if I'm not mistaken, that ODB had, hold on, got your money on it. Yeah, 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 with Khalees. Dang, so yeah. That song still... You I can hear that, that. In, bro. You can hear that in commercials, everything. Still to this day, man. It's still to this day. So there's one, two, three Neptune productions on here. Now I know Got Your Money was obviously because Khalees is on there, but I gotta listen to this. Just the first song says featuring Chris Rock and Pharrell. Yeah, I gotta listen to that now. But th- th- this Getty Green album. Let me tell you something, man. The first time I heard Project Pat was Ballers. And I'm pretty sure that was that was a Manny Fresh beat. And people was dogging it out. But the same reason y'all gave Blueface love is why I gave Project Pat love. Because how he was rapping was totally different. Never heard anything like that. So this is 99, right? So I'm 13. Mm-hmm. And to hear something like that with a beat like that was crazy to me. This is, like I said, this is you start kind of understanding who's making the beats and stuff like that. But then, like I said, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is Manny Fresh beat, but the rest of the beats is DJ Paul and Juicy J beats. Mm-hmm. This man, hold on, hold on. I, I, I got to get this nigga some love on this one, man. We be on some twinkies, twinkies. First song on there, North Memphis. Come on, man. Represented. Niggas got me fucked up. Man, you know the business. 
ballers, run a train, rinky dink, whatever, whatever, ho, up there with Crazy Bone, Choppers, BG and Bird, man. Let me see your go, shine. Getty Green, sucks on dick, does it real good. Shake that ass, backstabbers with crucial conflict. Come on, man. This is damn near a perfect album. Oh, that motherfucker's so hard. So fucking hard. I remember getting the CD, bro, and the CD had like like the cover art on it, but it was like blue. That's what I'm saying. Like, I remember this shit. Like, and this was You remember the cover art? Yes, he was robbing the liquor store. (laughs) (laughs) Come on. Classic. 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 Classic, man. man. Classic, man. Oh, my goodness. So, okay. Hey, I don't know why they ever gave this man an album, but the Mad Rapper, tell him why you mad. So, (laughs) the Mad Rapper was supposedly somebody that was, yeah, D-Dot. Okay. He was like their producer for a bad boy, I think. And he would do all the skits. He did the one skit on Before Kicking the Door. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. On the biggie. Yo, so my shit's more John Blaze than my shit's more John Hey, straight up. Oh, we, we got another compilation album, Terror Squad. Got to get him a yep, shout out. Yep, yep, um, the album. Lost Boys got one big song. I remember back in the day. I can't think of it right now. Um, Mac World War Three, classic No Limit album. I ain't going to stick on it too long. He's he's about to actually get exonerated and get out. He's been in jail for 20 years. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Um, Yeah. Yeah, his stories are fucked up. One too. Come on, man. Method Man and Red Man Blackout. Mm-hmm. One of my, I'm gonna just say top 100 because it's one of my favorite songs ever. But Rock Wilder, produced by Rock Wilder, yep, is on there. Um, let's see, you got a uh, Warren G. I want it all. Brand new socks and draws. Come on, man. Pharaoh Munch. I want to say. I'm only going to say his name because I want to see if my song is on what here. What song was that that he got? Simon Says. Okay, I knew I could remember yeah. which, which, one, which one it was. Dun, 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 dun. And see, it's another song, the, the edited version. Get your hands up. Dun, 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 dun. Simon Says. But, but he was like, get the fuck out. Mm-hmm. Dun, 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 dun. The beat was nuts. I only can imagine him performing that song. Somewhere just based off of the energy of the song. Oh, yeah. Was crazy. Oh, crazy, yeah. crazy, crazy. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Master P, only God can judge me. Booty. Butt cheeks. I can say that because I love Master P. Little Wayne, the Oof. block is hot. This is when Wayne was starting to find himself, but I think he was... This the last album he wrote on? I think this is the last album he ever wrote, if I'm not mistaken. Because the next one I know is Lights Out. Okay, but maybe I think Lights Out is the one he stopped writing on. Okay, I can believe that. I think Lights Out is, because he did that, what was it, 400 bars, 300, whatever it was, where he was, you could literally, he was rapping, you could hear him ripping the pages out the... Oh, I've never heard that before. Oh, bro, it's when he stopped writing. And he literally took all the rhymes he had and wrapped them all on one song and was done with, like, you can literally hear him tearing the pages out of his notebook as he's rapping this shit. Ooh. And that was the end of him writing. Ever since then, he went, yeah, <laughs> ever since he went and he started just, you know, off the top of the head. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it's the next one, I believe, is the the last one he was actually writing on. Mad props for that, man. Oh, so super duper props for that. Gotta say this guy just because we already said his name. E40 Charlie Hustle. Um mm-hmm. oh, two of my favorite on the same West Coast albums came out the same day. And I don't I gotta go back and look at this. Dr. Dre 2001, we already said, is one of the best West Coast albums of all time, if not the best. And Corrupt the Streets as a Mother. Mm, mm. Classics. Classics, classics. Oh, man. The next week. No, no, before, before, ahead, we, go, before ahead, go we go to that. Chronic or 2001? 2001. 2001. <sighs> it's a no-brainer for me. No-brainer? And, and, and the, and, and a no-brainer? Ooh. And, and to me, it goes back to the... Illmatic, Stillmatic. It is gr- it is great, but the Watcher, fuck you, Still Dre, 
explosive. That's just the beginning of the album. Forgot about Dre. Forgot about Dre is telling y'all, don't forget about the first chronic. Don't forget I did this. He said, I started this gangster shit. This is the motherfucking <laughs> thanks I get. Come on, man. But, Not on here, but I'm just saying. <sighs> I'm not mad at that answer. I'm not mad at it. I don't I'm, have I'm, a, I'm freestyling this. I don't have an answer either. I just asked you because I don't have an answer. Like, I couldn't say which. Let's come back to that one. Okay. Yeah, because that, yeah, that's hard. That could be an episode within itself. Bro, that's hard. Chronic versus 2001. And, and I would have never said no brainer. I'd never say no brainer. Right, that's way too hard. Right now, that's what I'm sticking with. I think it depends on what side of bed I wake up on. But we we'll get back to yeah, it. We'll we, get back to yeah, it. We'll come we'll back, back to that one. Okay. Let me see. Yeah. Nas's worst album came out the, the week after. Nostradamus. Booty butt cheeks. I'm gonna go back and listen to it after this, but as of right now, booty butt. Q tip amplified. Mm. They had breathing stop. Breathing stop. And uh what's the other song? The other the first song. Vibrant thing. Vibrant thing, yep. Yeah, but uh that was a great album. Um uh Funk Flex a Tunnel, another compilation. Uh Notorious B.I.G. Born Again, another compilation. <laughs> yeah, that was like the unreleased uh unre- I think he had what you call with Eminem on there. Um Oh, Dead Wrong. Yeah, Dead Wrong. Yes. 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 Um Next Friday soundtrack. You see soundtracks was hitting in. Yeah, the next Friday, and damn, next Friday soundtrack. I don't think I know anything off of here. What off song top of my did head. Cube have? I know Cube had a song on there. You can do you it. You can do it. Yep. Damn. They got some people on here, man. Oh, yeah. Ja Rule, Busy Bone. I Feral forgot Mind. about the Busy Bone song. Yeah, yeah. I don't oh, know. Big Timers, Lil Wayne, and Mac 10 at Good Friday. I don't even know that song. <sighs> Damn, this motherfucker is loaded, bro. Eminem. Motherfucker Isley Brothers, man. Lil Zane. What the hell is going on? But they got Wu-Tang, Clef, Aaliyah, Busy Bone, Feral Munch, Ja Rule, N.W.A. Oh, I got to listen to this. I got to find this yeah, somewhere. Yeah. yeah. I mean, on paper, this is a classic. On paper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, if I'm not mistaken, it was a pretty good, pretty good uh, soundtrack. Okay, then, and we got three more, three more fire ones. You got four, really? The rest of got, the year, goddamn, bro. You got three that came out the same day, and it's DMX. Then there was X. What's my name? Yep. You got RP. Goody My World Party. Mm-hmm. And I was skipping over this one, but it, it, Tupac you, and the Outlaws still arise. But I know it's a big deal. Oh yeah, it's still a, it, it's it's a big deal. And I've never heard it though. Literally a week later. Jay Z, volume three. That's got give it to me. Um, and uh, one of uh, Timberland's worst beats ever is on here. What's that? It's hot. Something like a hot. On the Go fucking ahead. fade to black, though, it sounds so much better. Oh, I don't know if that's because the roots that. is doing it they or what, that. but that motherfucker, it sounds so much better live. But Way yeah, that, 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 yeah, something like it's hot. Yeah, I, I definitely know that. But hold on, man. Uh uh-uh. uh. Nope. Hold on. Damn it. Can't stop it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when you hear this, you think it's about to go. Crazy, yeah, big damn ass, near. damn near. Sounds so big, yeah. bro. Then here it comes. <laughs> 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 no, dog. Hey, so you should have just played the motherfucking uh, intro. Man, come on, I, man. I fucked up. This one don't have. Uh, give it to me. That's on the next one. That's the dynasty. Give it to me, on the dynasty. That's on the dynasty. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So this one had now. This is not a, a huge song, but it's motherfucking hard and it's dope, man. Oh yeah. Oh my god, that song is so damn. Oh hard. yeah. So check this out. You got this got Jig and my nigga and girl's best friend. Do it again and big dope Devin. man. Things that you do. Snoopy track. Mm-hmm. S dot Carter. Yeah, not sure. Big pimping. Yep. 
I'm saying Big Pimp and then you got Jigga My Nigga and Girl's Best Friend. And Girl's Best Friend is one of Jay Z's top ten songs lyrically. Is that um the one that was on the Blue Streak soundtrack? He's rapping about a diamond, but it sounds like he's rapping about a woman. Mmm. Just just listen I to it. Back when you, and listen to when it you get now. home and listen to it, it, it's literally one of the great like. It's the come here, baby. Get drunk, yeah, my lady baby. Said. That song. Okay. Listen to the lyrics. He's rapping about because you know the movie's about a diamond heist. Yeah. So he's rapping about a diamond, but everything he's saying is like he's rapping about a woman, and Damn. he's basically comparing. Yeah, basically comparing it to it. Yeah, it's and look that Swiss beats again. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. So if you have Volume Three on CD, as you can see on Wikipedia, all these songs were on one track. It says 14 minutes. Mm -hmm. So you either had to listen to the song or you had to fast forward on a CD until it got to that part. Y'all know how horrible that is because they would fast forward slow and the longer you hold it, it would fast forward super fast. So you never could get to the beginning of the song like you wanted to. Yeah, you never could get to it right. I I wonder if it's, I'm going to go back and look and they separated it. Oh, so they separated them no, they didn't. They met, so they put anything on this version on on uh, on iTunes, on Apple Music, hmm. and this was one thing I didn't like. So anything had a video and everything, and I loved it because of the sample and the beat and everything. But it was not on Jay Z's album; it was on Beanie Siegel's album. Mm. It was like the very last song on there. They threw this song on there, and they sh- they should have put it on Jay Z's album, but right. they didn't. So on Apple Music, it's on here, and it's 14 minutes long. Let me see if it played. Yeah, yeah. I I love that song. So yeah. let me see if you fast forward. I just, just want to see real quick what it does. See, it's silent. And then you go and take my nigga. <laughs> okay, yeah. There y'all go. Y'all can listen to that later yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh. <laughs> Straight up. Man, okay. Okay. So that's, yeah, so that's 99. That's 99. So that's 99. So we get. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. DMX first week sold 698,000 copies. That means guaranteed by the second week he was platinum. platinum. Guaranteed if you selling that many the first week. Platinum in two weeks. Only years. reason you didn't go platinum that first week is probably because they didn't have enough physical copies. Yes. That's the only reason why. But even the last uh, last place on this list was Silk the Shocker with 240000 But so, you know at the end that was a flop. Come on, man. That, that was, was a flop. A, yes. That was definitely a flop back then. Can you imagine somebody doing that today? Come on, man. They the biggest person in the world. Come on. Doing that the first week. So, you ready you ready to hop on so, over? So, yeah, we going to jump on on 2000. Woo! And See that we we really kind of slow until you get to the you know, I wasn't huge on the Locks, but you got a uh, Locks album. Oh, the one right after that, same day. Yeah, same day. And then right there, same day is HCP with Hypnotized Camp Posse. They don't have so, the link on here, but this was the one that had ass and titties on it. Yep. Yep, definitely had that on there. Uh, on the first, you got the East Siders. <sighs> oh, I love oh. this album. I love this album. It wasn't on streaming services for a while, and they put it on there, and man, that gets bumped at least. Oh yeah, that East Siders album is, is every other really, week. Yeah, it's every really other week good. for sure. Uh, you know, it wasn't huge on Ghostface. You got Ghostface and uh, MC Breed that next week. But that Ghostface album, people love that one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they definitely love that one. That Supreme clientele. Uh, Trick Daddy, Book of Thugs. Did we miss the first one? www.thug.com, or did we I say that this... one? That's before. That had Nan on it. Did we miss that? Maybe we said it. That, that, was, that was a few days ago. Maybe we said it, but look at those. We could have. We could have. We could have said that. This had shut up on it. Uh-huh. Uh huh. He, he had like this wasn't like his best or anything, but I mean, Trick Daddy back then, like you said, only had about three or four songs. Yeah. 
and 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 you was good. And you was you was the man. So literally on the same day, you had Benny Siegel, the truth, mm-hmm. and Bone Thugs, BT and H Resurrect Resurrection. I never heard that album. It's not my favorite. Not my favorite Bone album. Of course, in 1999, that's my my favorite. It was so Damn, bro, look at this. Bro, R.I.P. for the next I one. Know, R.I.P. for the next one. Black Rob, Life Story. Dang, what? This Black Rob, let me see this uh, track list. This had Woe on it. Oh, yeah. So, uh, I mean. I've that, never heard of Black Rob album. I think he only had one or two. I remember him more on uh, Puff Daddy and the Family. The soccer mm-hmm, continues. Mm-hmm. Um, this this next one I'm about to say is is my favorite rapper, but not my favorite album of his, and that's uh, Ice Cube, War and Peace, Volume Two, The Peace Disc. Mm-hmm. Um, he had a song on there with Crazy Bone and Nice Cube. That was the best thing in life is life. That was I don't my think I ever song. heard them. You know that song though. Uh, what was the name of it? Until We Rich for Crazy Bone. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm about to say, you, you know that yeah, song. Yeah, I know that song. Well, look, on the same day, Murder, Inc. dropped the album. Irv Gotti Presents the Murderers. See, the Irv Gotti album after this one, I really, really liked. A but lot. What was on here? Also on the same day, too, with that is Trina, the baddest bitch. The beginning of Trina. <laughs> First time we heard Trina was Trick Daddy. <laughs> Nigga, my auntie. <laughs> used to play the shit out this album, bro. D and Lee, mama? No, 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 no. My mama's sister. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, my mama's sister. She would, I mean, like, would play the shit out this album. And this was, like, I never heard a female talking like this. N- no. Not cause, because I was way too young to listen to Little Kim. Yes. At, at my age, I was way too young to listen to Little Kim. And at that time, all the biggie shit I heard was on the radio. Yeah. So, by this time, I'm a little bit older. I can start hearing a little more. And, I mean, that's got that, uh, I'm the baddest bitch. And who's, who's bad? bad? That yeah. motherfucker on there? Yeah. Like, yeah, bro. That motherfucker, yeah. I definitely remember that baddest bitch uh, album. Fun fact. Um, I don't know if he wrote this song or not, but Rick Ross was writing her bars. Shut the fuck up. It's in his book. Damn. That's crazy. Rick Rick Ross got in the game. He's being on tour with them and, and writing bars for Trina. Mm. Put some respect on his name. Put some on it. Oh yeah, fun fact as well. I did a uh, Biggie and uh, Rick Ross mix. Let him know. People uh, was hot at me on Facebook because I said Rick Ross is what Biggie was going to be. I can't be mad at that. People. I mean, they were just killing it. And I'm just like, are you saying that Biggie was that great? Or, or are you saying that Rick Ross is not good? Because I, I really would like to know. <laughs> yeah, because I don't, I mean. I've never heard anybody say Rick Ross was even whack. So that's why it caught me off guard I when I said that. That's not a bad thing. It's a compliment. 1,000%. It's a compliment. That, that's so could, not a bad thing. I'm gonna Diddy find- was saying that shit like five, six years ago when him and, and him and Ross was running around together. Like, he's calling that nigga the next Biggie and shit like that. Yeah. And motherfuckers was on his head too. But I'm like, he why? can say if anybody can say it, he can. Come on, man. He spent more time with Biggie than any of us. Than anybody. The only person who got more time with Biggie is Valetta Wallace. That's serious. For real, for real. You know what I'm saying? For real, for so real. and she was never in the studio with him, so that's a whole different person than with his <laughs> yeah, mama's Yeah, Exactly. Come exactly. on, man. So yeah, but yeah. Rick Ross was writing for uh Trina. Mm. You got uh common, like water for chocolate. I wasn't on common at this time, but I know this is a big deal. I went back and listened to this album. I want to say The Light is on here, which is probably one of his biggest songs mm-hmm. ever. Mm-hmm. We got to do too much scrolling to get to these songs. Yeah, the light is on here. The light is on there. Ooh, uh, a whole bunch of Jay Dilla beats is on there. Jeez. Week after, big pun. Yeah, baby. You skip one. What's our drag on? Yes. That was, that, that was, that was, um, I like that drag on. I, I, I liked, I liked, I probably liked Rough Riders as much as I liked Cash Money No Limit. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like the things they were doing and stuff. Like I said, I had the volume one, the volume two, the volume three, I had all that stuff. Um, yeah, but Big Pun for sure. I think Big Pun had already passed when this one came out. Yeah, because this had a It's So Hard on it. Okay. So yeah. Next, uh, I had <laughs> our female rappers, got to give them a shout out back to back. Rod Digger, 
What's crazy is, and I'm just honest, I didn't even know Rod Digger was a girl until this CD came out. Damn. I could I could see that. Like like because of her voice. Because of her voice. Yeah. So as <laughs> I'm um like I said, I had to go to my friend's house and watch videos and cable. So Buster Rhymes, I'm listening to the music. So when I hear Flipmo Squad, I hear a bunch of guys rapping. I never even thought it was a chick. So when I seen the video and she had the song uh now, who be writing rhymes all night? Rod Digger in the house mm-hmm. and my game is tight. And when she said, shit's tight, down to the coochie, I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this nigga got a coochie? Yeah, <laughs> what? I am kind of They're like, like, hold on, hold on. Man. When the niggas start calling their dicks coochie? Yeah, <laughs> hey, man. And then she had to flip mode the Imperial and bust rhymes in the video. So, yep, I, yeah, yep, so yep. forgive me for that. But then on the next one. The Brat Unrestricted. Definitely bought both of those albums with my money, for sure. Um, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yin Yang Twins Thug Walking. Let me tell y'all something. These niggas probably could end the day career when this album came out because these niggas sampled a Disney song. Oh, yeah. Whistle while you twerk. Come on, man. But I can still, to this day... Uh, you can play it right now. I can play that and song the right twerk now. Like a motherfucker. What was crazy is when twerking became a, a big deal, there were songs like this in older No Limit and Cash Money songs where they were saying twerk. Mystical been saying twerk forever. Yeah. But yeah, these niggas probably almost lost it all. <laughs> yeah, behind that Disney symbol. Behind, behind that Disney symbol. Yep. I don't even know why they didn't even think to try and clear that one. Tripping. But, yeah. 504 Boys, Ooh. good fella. Th- this is when I thought No Limit was coming back. Let me see you wobble, wobble. Come on, man. Shake it, shake it. They had Wooly on here. They actually had a beat from the Neptunes on here. D-Game. Fun fact as well. Push it. The, the clips are on this song. But if you look up the features, it says terror and crazy. Pusha T was not Pusha T yet. Damn. And, so is him and his brother? No, it's just one of them. Oh, it's, okay. It's Pusha T. His name was Terror on here. Fun fact. Wow. Got and, a lot of fun facts. Yeah, and Malice wasn't Malice yet either. Right, right. So if you go listen to like the old, I want to say like Khalees songs and stuff, they don't even say Pusha T or nothing. Damn. That's why I always like the clips when Pusha T said, Pusha T, Pusha Ton, push a ton of that shit to make your nose run. I didn't even know what he was talking about then, but it was just tight. <laughs> it was just tight when I first heard it. Uh, let me see. I got I to gotta say this next guy because he has one of the best videos ever. Sugar Free. When he is beat, he, he is rap, used, rapping and beating on the table at the same yeah. time. Oh, my goodness. Man, he, he got a story too, bro. He got a story he got too. A story, man. Sugar I, 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 would, I would love to sit down and talk to him because... He was kind of doing the blue face thing before blue face too. He was doing the kind of like like rapping off, beating and stuff. But he was just talking some pimp game shit. Like like that was just his Baby, thing. If you want to, you'd be like, damn, this nigga is pimping me while I'm <laughs> listening to this motherfucker. Like, damn. Hey man, he had a song on um the how to how to be a player soundtrack, and uh, it's like if you ain't ready or something. If you ain't ready. Oh, I know what song you talking about. <laughs> yeah, See, uh, when I think about I think about that, uh, that oh my way, oh my way. You remember that song? Oh, uh, nigga. He got hits, man. He got hits, bruh. He got, he got hits, hits bruh. Yeah, we go I'm gonna have to put that one in too, bruh. That yeah. uh, that sugar free on my way. That's my shit right there. Oh, he, he he's on um Top Dog. He had a song on there with Charlie Wilson and Snoop. I wish you wouldn't trust me so much. And he is snapping. Sugar Free was snapping on Sugar there. Sugar Free hard, yeah. I mean, I, I like to sit down with Sugar Free. Man. Oh, That'd yeah. Be cool to them all, Definitely Sugar Free. Um, ooh, Big Timers, I got that work. Mm-hmm. Now, supposedly, I don't know, Lil Wayne wrote this whole album for the Big Timers. They gave him a plaque and everything for it. That is not hard to believe. 
especially with how much he was writing. I think at this time it was kind of dismantling around Cash Money too. I think Juvenile, I think Juvenile had left. Yeah, Juvenile uh, and BG were gone. Juvenile and BG had left. They was really putting everything in the way, and you can't really expect uh, Manny Fresh or Baby to write. A Especially album. Manny Fresh making all the damn beats on top of that. And yeah, you you're not expecting that. So yeah, that's very believable. I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't doubt that. But that had motherfucking get your roll on on it. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you a story about get your roll on. So I'm in. This is 2000, right? Yep. 2000, my freshman in high school. So take it back to like your little geography class. We had to do all the states and all the cities. And we had to find a way to get the class to get a good grade. Whoever could do it the best got like a good grade and didn't have to take the test. It was something crazy like that. I did get your roll on and I did all the states and the cities. Now, all of them didn't rhyme. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. Everybody passed the test. And I would never forget this because I said Little Rock, Arkansas, Minnesota, St. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so hey, Matt, was like, oh! yeah. So, but I, I performed it in front of the class and did it. And I'm telling you, everybody, everybody in the class it, passed the test. And my teacher, I never forget his name, was Mr. Ninos. He was like, man, you got extra credit for this. He was like, because everybody got a good grade because of what you did. Because of what you did. Bro. I will, I will never forget that. One of my highlights of high school. Y- y'all remember me. Did y'all a favor. <laughs> <laughs> Next big one. I remember I remember visiting Indiana from Colorado, 2000. Went to Target, and I bought the Marshall Mathers LP. Mm-hmm. It had two or three different album covers. The one I got was the black and gray where he was sitting on the middle of the street on a corner coddled up. Yeah. Marshall Mathers LP. I wonder if it shows the other cover on here. Yeah. The other one's him sitting in front of his old house. But I had the one we were sitting on the street. This is a classic. The Way I Am is on here. Stan is on here. People to this day still say Stan because of this song. Yeah. Um, we stand for it. Like, this, yeah, yes. Just being the, the super fan. This also... uh. I remember, like I told you on the one episode, there was a white boy in the neighborhood that was real big on Oh, Eminem. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. real, like, huge on Eminem. <laughs> he put me on to Eminem, bro. Like, he was coming every day listening to fucking Eminem. That's and crazy. And to the point where I'm like, well, shit, let me listen to this motherfucker. And, like, it was crazy, bro. Like, I oh, yeah. never heard no shit like that before. Like, because I heard... You know, the last album, whatever singles was on the radio, like, you know, uh, My Name Is and shit like that. But this had... Bro, Stan was the third song on here. Bro, the second song was You you. Don't Wanna Wanna Fuck fuck With Shady. shady. Cause why? Cause Shady will fucking kill you. Nigga, that was the hook. (laughs) It didn't rhyme. Yeah. He just said, don't fuck with me because I'll kill you. Like, what the fuck? I see why my mama ain't want me to listen to that shit. And he got sued for that. Oh, yeah, it was an old classical song. Yep. He got sued for that shit. But, yeah, just uh, it had so much on it. And what other? Oh, The Way I Am, Slim Shady, The Real Slim Shady, Remember Me was my song. Bruh. Drug Ballad. Oh. Oh. That's one of the most slept on songs on that album. Mm <laughs> Man, that motherfucker's so hard. That motherfucker's so hard. But oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So remember, I told you I had the the edited version of it. Yeah, and it, didn't, with Kim. it didn't have Kim on it. <laughs> it had, and the song it has right here on the special didn't the kids. That's the song it had on there in place of Kim. What? And basically, he was on there. I got. He was rapping. He was basically like a teacher rapping to kids. Telling them about fucked up. You know how Eminem was rapping about drugs and shit like that. But he's a, like a substitute teacher rapping to kids about using drugs and shit like that, bro. But it was still edited on the edited version. Damn, it's not it. Okay, so the kids is on the edited version. Mm-hmm. 
But if you go to the regular version, Kim is still on there. Yeah, on the regular version. Yeah. yeah. Kim wasn't on the edited version. Damn. So I had the edited version without Kim. It had the kids on there. That is nuts. Yeah. So I didn't hear Kim until later on. So long, bitch, you did me so wrong. And once again, that's another, people get upset about that, but I'm like, for one, that's art, and it's a it's a great fucking song. Like, yeah. it's art. And he didn't do it. He didn't do it. It's no different than you watching a movie on Netflix where they murdering every damn body. You should be upset about the people that don't make songs and actually and do actually it. actually do it, bro. And actually fucking do it. Because that was... It was a storytelling. Just like on his first album, he had 97 Bonnie and Clyde. Just the two of us. He's talking about killing his wife on that one, too. And he was talking but to his daughter. But he's talking to his daughter <laughs> <laughs> about doing it, bro. Like, yeah. Hey, like, but that's, that's classic story, shit. It's storytelling, bro. It's art, bro. And that's why it's Who so good. Who tells stories now? Who Come gives on. us a story now? You got very few storytellers, if any. If any. Come on, man. Very few. So but, yeah, uh, we, yeah, we gave that to, to Eminem right there. Uh, let me see. Oh. Classic coming up. Come on. When the smoke clears. 66, when the 61. smoke clears. Come on, Come on man. man. Classic. Like I said, I, I'm in high school now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, like, this is when everybody kind of, like, sharing CDs Passing stuff around and not like hitting the share button on your iPhone. Like we had to like let somebody borrow your shit and hope they gave it back or you would. Niggas was fighting over this shit back in the day. Yeah, or hope it wasn't fucked up when they gave it back. Come on, bro. My shit wasn't this scratch when I gave it Come to on. you. What you doing? Come on. Come on. It's classic. I got to give this one a shout out. Um, Afro Man because I got high. Oh, yeah. Classic song. I remember being in Colorado. We wasn't legal then, but this came on the radio. And I remember I'm in the, I'm in the car with my homeboy uh, Aaron and his mother. She heard this song and she was pissed. And she's like an old hippie type of lady. Damn. But she was hot that it was on the radio. I wouldn't, I mean, she was like, and my dude, he was singing it. Bro, like I said, I didn't even know what this shit like was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Singing this shit. And we're like, he sounded like he's just sitting with his niggas playing this shit, like on a guitar and singing whatever, because he was saying whatever. But yeah, shout out to Afro Man. He kicked bitches off the stage. <laughs> And what did what Cat Williams say? I'm calling you a bitch because I don't know your name. I don't know your name well <laughs> individually. Ooh, okay. So this next next week week is silly because you got Eric Sermon. Mm-hmm. You got... Oh, on. you skipped a week. What did, what did I skip? Buster Rhymes Man. Anarchy. Oh, yeah. They came out the same day as Afro Man. Yes. My fault, Buster. We, we, you you dropped a thousand albums between Come the on. end of the 90s. But go ahead and go back to that 2000s. next week because but the next shit. week, like I said, we got Eric Sermon, Woo. Little Kim, Notorious KIM. Classic. And Nelly Country Grammar. Classic. I don't care what nobody say. Diamond album. Classic. Classic album. I don't Classic. care what nobody say. Classic. If you said you wouldn't sing it, a song off that Nelly album, you're fucking lying. You're a liar. You're a fucking liar, and I don't believe shit you say. Never again. Hey, I hope everything in life happens to you and only you. <laughs> <laughs> Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. <laughs> Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. <laughs> On everything. Uh, ooh, Rough Riders, Ride or Die, Volume Two is after that. Yes. Oh my goodness! They, they count this. This was a mixtape. Little flip the leprechaun. I it treat had, you uh, like milk. I do nothing but spoil you. Leprechaun had. Uh, I can do that. Yep, it's the last song. Oh, on there. it had motherfucking uh, Trojans in my boxes on. What? I have my Trojans in my boxes on. Oh, uh, yeah. See, I'm not about that right oh. there. <laughs> Nick, I, I would, yeah, once we get further in these years, I was a little flip fan. I ain't even going to fucking lie, yeah. bro. The way T.I. hurt that man's career, I'm still kind of hurt about it, but. I don't hey. think nobody's career been ended worse than little. F Between him and Ja Ru. I think cannabis was worse. Yeah, cannabis did have a bad end of his I career. Think, I, I think, think yeah, because ja, ja Rule, he he was he fought for a while because he came with Clapback in that album. He had the song with Bobby Brown. We gonna we are definitely gonna get into that yeah. too. But ja, ja Rule had some fight, but the flip it was over. It was over for Flip. Like once Ti came, it was 
over for Flip. Yeah. And it didn't help that he had just dropped a terrible double disc album. Ooh, we just said that them, them double discs, man, they, they, they got to come they can with some make or break you, but uh, yeah, that 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 was... Oh, Leprechaun's on here. I'm going to check it out. Yeah, so... It's on here. Yeah. I don't think that had Lean to the Left. I think that was somebody else's song, and he was on it. But that was a big song, too. Uh, let's see. Project Pack, Murderers and Robbers. I never heard that before. Is that an actual album? I think so. I don't think I've heard it either. No, nah, they, they 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 snuck that one in there. It's his first compilation album. Okay, I def- underground. Oh, album. Okay, definitely didn't hear that one. Ooh, see this is see Lil John. Okay, Lil John East Side Boys. We still crunk. One of my favorite songs on there is "I Like Them Girls." I literally just bought this song the other day. Didn't realize. So do you? Okay, I'm gonna give y'all a story on this one. Bro, it's been a fucking hour. <laughs> <laughs> we did two years. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let me tell you a story we about too. I like them girls. So, do you remember the theme song from the movie Set It Off? The theme song for the uh was it it's in- like it's like Set It Off phone? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all yeah, yeah. Okay. So there I I I am I'm, I'm in the music. I love 808s and Rollins and beat machines and shit. So there's a playlist off of Songs that are made off of 808 machines. Mm-hmm. And there's a song on there, and I'm listening to it, and the dude is rapping. I'm about to send it to you. I'm to, we're going to add it in here, too. But the dude is like, set it off on the left, y'all. Set it off on the right, y'all. Set it off, set it off, set it off, set it off. And then he breaks it down, and I forget what he says, but they sampled it, and I like them girls. Because Jazzy Faye is like, some call them hoochies. Some what? call him freaky. They got it from that song, and I never knew it. He's like, I like them girls with them tats. Yeah, on they, they got they. It's they just remade a song. Wow, they just remade a song, and I, I'm, I'm gonna have to send it to you so you can hear it. It's crazy because the song came on. Like I said, I'm just I'm shuffling the 808 playlist. Mm-hmm. Is what it was yeah. called. You know what I'm saying. And um, the song came on. I'm like, damn, I might want to redo this shit. And then he starts saying the words. I'm sitting there like, nigga, they already redid it. Everybody <laughs> redid it. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting there like, I-, I get it. But like we were saying, they don't have like party happy songs no more. This was definitely one of them. I could see them killing it to this song. Damn, bro. Crazy. See, I didn't know that. And this also has B.I.B.I. B. I. and Put Your Hood Up on there. So they definitely re-released it with these songs because those songs were definitely on a different album. I could have sworn. I think that was around the time I first heard Lil John. I think that was around when so, I okay, first heard no. B.I.B.I. and everything. Put Your Hood Up album, which came out 2001. We're going to get there. Mm-hmm. That had Put Your Hood Up, B.I.B.I., Who You With, Move, Bitch. So they re- Okay, so they took that and put it on there. Okay, okay. Yes. okay. Where them girls, so I like them girls, they all on the same thing. Okay, okay well, we'll have to remember that for old one. We can mention it and skip over it. Definitely, definitely. Got to give them the love. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Lil Zane. He was, Lil Zane, he's rapping like Tupac, and Tupac was his inspiration, so... Not gonna hold him too much on that. No, no. Can't be too mad. Ooh, do or die victory. I bought this album. Yep. Victory. Mm-hmm. They had a uh, Can You Make It Hot Like This? And it makes you say, yeah, yeah, cause you pop. Ooh, oh, hold on. What was on here? Paper Route, Mac, Mac 10. 10. Let me tell you something, man. We're gonna get there. Mac 10 has an album on Cash Money. Oh, yeah. Banger Ball. Ball. We played that shit. I remember I let Brandon listen to that. Brandon, he still called me like, man, when you get to the crib, turn that motherfucking Mac 10 on. <laughs> hey, that, <laughs> that shit was hard. Banger Ball, bro. That shit was hard, man. Okay, um, let's see. LL Cool J the Goat. I bought this album, too. Can't say I remember what was on this. Heads from? Oh, that was way later. How late was that? This is 2000, ain't it? Yes. This had uh, Imagine That was a big song. He had um, Hello was in the FUBU commercial back in the day. Hello, 
Hello? Yo, yo. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Call yeah. me on that telephone. Damn, uh, so when was his sprung and shit? Was it like 01, 02? But that was with Timbaland. So that was later in the game. That was, um, let me see if they got his albums on here. Headsprung was later, later, bro. I don't know why I'm thinking this song's older than what it is. We saw, hey, Lord have mercy. Hey, that nigga said they call me Big Ellie. Ain't nobody <laughs> ever called that nigga that shit, bro. Dang, see, his his 10 album came out in 02. Definition, 2004. That sounds familiar. Yeah, that, that was familiar. that was all like Timbaland beats on there, but yeah, the goat was on, was on this one. The goat was I I liked it. it wasn't his best, but I liked that one a lot. Um, too short again. Oh, here, here go the beginning of somebody else. Cameron. Yep. S D E. Man, if y'all get a chance, man, please watch that Cameron Drink Champs. It was just it was wonderful, wonderful. Mm-hmm. Uh. I gotta put on here the same day as that is Tila, the world ain't enough. They had that hose in the cold. <laughs> Singing that ass in the cold. Yeah, so classic. yeah, that just, that's classic song. I had to mention that. My but my favorite song on there is number eleven, Table Dance. And it doesn't say it, but it's featuring Jazzy Faye. My, he, Jazzy Faye was on all, a lot of his shit. Man, so my dude at work, I'm gonna have to give him a shout out, man. My guy Bostic. They have this album chopped and screwed. All of these, all of these hold, rap a lot albums, almost every single one of them are chopped and screwed on your streaming service right now. Oh yeah, yeah, I I, I found a lot of them. Listen to Tila chopped and screwed. Oh my goodness, chopped and screwed music meant so much to us. Like it was. Everything to hear these songs. That's another conversation we gotta have. And I put this on Facebook. What is the best chopped and screwed album of all time? We're not gonna go there. Yeah, we we we're get not into gonna, it. We, we'll we, get into it. We're not we'll gonna go there. It, but that's something I want y'all to think about. This gotta be a clip. This gotta, gotta be, be a clip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta, gotta, be, gotta, be, gotta be, gotta be, gotta <laughs> be. It's gotta be a clip. Okay. Bro, the next week is fucking ridiculous. Oh my god! This is so I don't even know if people was even not that I know of was listening to them like that. But Black Eyed Peas, I on, believe it, that's a first album to come out. Is my song on here? Remember, uh, that's the joint. That's yeah, the yeah. jam. That's on there. Is it? What's it called? I don't know. I was asking you. <laughs> oh shit, man! No, I, I, but, I think uh, it was, no, it was on the one before that. It came out ninety eight. You got three big albums. Mystical. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. It was had, supposed to be called Let's Get Ready to Rumble. They changed the artwork and everything. It was a blue cover because when, when No Limit has CDs, they had all the covers on the inside. Yeah. It's supposed to be called Let's Get Ready to Rumble. Blue cover with his hands like this. I'll never forget it. And then we got this shit like this. I was like, what the fuck is this? Mm. Fun fact. I wonder if uh, the boxing people had Let's Get Ready to Rumble copyright. Mm, look, the very first song is called Ready to Rumble. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> On the album. So, yeah. So, yeah. Miss School, Let's Get Ready, Shine. <sighs> Self-titled album. Listen to this album the other day. It definitely feels a little different. It's not as great as I thought it was. Okay. But the songs that he had that I really liked are, are, are really big songs. Bang. Uh, Bad Boys, obviously. Um, Niggas Gonna Die, produced by the Neptunes. Mm -hmm. Got a Neptunes mix for y'all as well. Bonnie and Shine and That's Gangsta. Yep. That's that's enough for me to say that the album is good. And also on that same day. I'm at, I'm at this nigga name wrong on here. They got everybody's real name. They put the nigga Shad Moss on here. Yeah. Bow Wow, but where up, dog? Hold on, man. Let, let let me see what's on here. Bounce with me. Yep. Puppy love. Oh. Bow wow, that's my name. Mm-hmm. Ghetto girls. Come on. I think he had like two or three songs with Jagged Edge on there. Yeah, he got he got Jagged Edge and Escape on here. Yep. Now I don't it's know how so, true so this is. I definitely want to research it, but I heard that Ti was writing Bow Wow stuff after this album. Mm. Possible. 
Because that's all the Atlanta connection right there. So mm-hmm. it's very possible. Because if that's the case, that means he wrote, I said a little bit, well, mm-hmm. that was the next album. Yeah. That song was hard. I don't care what nobody is saying. And I'm just thinking it would make a lot of sense if T.I. is working with the Neptunes. You're writing Bow Wow stuff. This song's produced by Neptunes. It could possibly be, and I ain't mad at nobody for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because Bow Wow was a kid, but yeah. Yeah. Give Bow Wow his love. Um, ooh, Scarface, last of a dying breed. Yes. <sighs> Man, yes. I mean, mm-hmm. bro, we only in October. We got, we got, we got to get through this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Rude 336. This just further proves our point of how good this 10 years is. Oh, but yeah. yes. Ja Rule 336. And MLP Warriors dropped on the same day. So check this out. Bought both of these albums. This MLP album was too East Coast for me. But Annie Up was on here. Mm-hmm. And Cold as Ice was on here. Yeah. Two classic songs. Two classic songs. So... It, it was just the rest of it was just too so East Coast. Well, hell, Annie Up really is East Coast as shit. It's just yeah, dang. It, it's, it's a it's a fire ass song. So this is what's crazy. I know I didn't buy all these albums the same day, but I had the E Forty Loyalty and Betrayal too. Yep, they came out the same day. Same day. Okay. Oh, bro, next week. Oh, this is my nigga. Oh. Luda. L-A-V-A, L-A-V-A, fuck that shit. Come on, man. Come on. Oh. Back for the first time. Back for the first time. Hold on. This ludicrous mix coming too. I often have trouble with this one and word of mouth for which one is better. And I often <sighs> lean to this one. Is word of mouth roll out? Yeah. Word of mouth is roll out Saturday. Uh, Man, y'all need to start making songs like that. Bro, yeah, word you know of mouth is a, is a lot. I'm gonna give the baby some credit in that. Oh, the baby, the baby makes good videos. He he he's definitely doing fun videos. He's when, definitely one of the few people that's doing fun videos. Yes, I I'm, like. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give that to the baby. But yes, that album, that Ludacris album, is is so south. Yes. It's so south. It don't even sound like word of mouth because, you know, he was getting production from 3-6 and all that, which is a great fucking album. But this is just gritty, like just that grind album that you can just hear. I think most of these songs is on Incognito, too. So check this out. I I might be teaching you something I don't know. Do you know the person that made all the beats for this first album? He did. No. Bangladesh. Shut the fuck up. (laughs) Well, I know he did. Do some producing on this album, though. If you go look at the, um, if you go look at the uh, the artwork on the inside, mm-hmm. you'll see like two chains and and all, oh, yeah. and all the oh, brand yeah, there. Oh, yeah. But you got a problem, Chandra. That's his name. The so next- that's Bangladesh. Yes. Shut the fuck up. I know exactly because Sean Dre was making all of them beats. Yes. But I never knew that was Bangladesh. So Sean Dre did the first song. Game got switched, organized noise. First and tenth, Sean Dre. What's your fantasy, Sean Dre? Uh, that's a skit. Hood stuck to Ludacris. Get off me with Jermaine Dupree. I didn't know that. Yep. Yeah. Stick him up, Sean Dre. Ho, Sean Dre. Southern Hospitality, obviously Neptunes. What's your fantasy remix, Chandra? Damn. And that, that's Bangladesh. And so if you guys don't know, Chandra Bangladesh, he never gets his flowers and it drives me nuts. Please make this a clip. I see y'all remaking these videos of how beats are broke down and y'all never shout out the producers. Me being a DJ producer, it pisses me off. Look how this nigga redid a Millie. Oh, fuck yeah. Bro, that's why I was so shocked when you said, because, like, I have I never knew Sean Dre in Bangladesh was the same person. Yeah. And I know, as soon as you said Sean Dre, I know, because this is when I was getting into producers and beats and shit like that, and I had seen that, yeah, he was making a lot of DTP shit back then. Man, give Bangladesh his Flowers. Yeah, you Seriously. you on a goat list, Bangladesh. Bro. One thousand percent, Bangladesh, bro. Because I, yeah, that just further even 
the shit he made at Chandre and the shit he made is Bangladesh. Just like Kobe at eight and Kobe on, at twenty four, bro. Hey, <laughs> like real for real. Talk. Uh, he did the one banana joint right. for Lil Wayne. Like, come on, man. Come on, and and they wasn't paying him, bro. Not gonna blame you, Wayne. Say Birdman, but still, hey man, give Bangladesh his yeah, props. Bro. But yeah, that that Ludacris album. Um, uh, let's see, let's let's see what else we got. Let's scroll on got, down. Ooh, on the same day again. I know. I, I, oh John, my goodness! We got Jay Z, the Dynasty classic, Outcast, Stankonia classic. Come on, man. So so. There's a song on there Come that on. definitely made me cry on that Rock La Familia, boy. Which one is that? Daddy, mm -hmm. where have you been? And when you coming home, you got us here all alone. So around this time, I went around. I went with, with my dad like that. I didn't move with my dad to 2002. So it was touching the chords. Oh, that time. man. To hear Beanie Siegel, how he was rapping, bro. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Definitely felt that. But then stank on you, bro. <sighs> When bombs over Baghdad, and I first seen that video. Uh, I'll go on record to say, Stankonia changed my life. Mm. Damn, just it, how I looked at music. Another thing I want y'all to do, I want you to listen to Miss Jackson as an adult. Oh, it you resonate with it so much. Listen to Miss Jackson as an adult. <sighs> You are going to hear that song totally different now. That's another reason why I love Stankonia so much because the first time I heard it as a kid, I loved it. I loved it, but I listened to it again as a young adult and it changed for me and I still loved it. And now if I listen to it now, it changes again and it makes me love it more because it's like, it's literally like that album grew up with me. Man, bro, I'm, it's so much on there. So far, so clean. Uh, Miss Jackson, bombs over Baghdad. I call before I come. I call before I come. One of my favorite songs by them. Red Velvet is on that motherfucker. We love these hoes. Spaghetti, Spaghetti Junction is on there. Like that, definitely one of their top oh, albums. Toiletitia. <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Uh, what album was We Can't Be a Maze? That on here. That's on there. That explosion. Uh, we just can't, can't be amazed. amazed. I know what you're yeah. talking. That's on stake on you. Outcast with a K. Yeah, them niggas is hard, harder than a nigga trying to impress God. Nigga, when I heard that, I said, "Oh my God!" <laughs> Fire! Come on! Fire! Come on! Oh, whew. okay. Let let let's let's scroll on down. Boy, I got leaving like five minutes too. Let me, let's, let's get this knock. Let's get this knocked out. Uh, ooh, I'm really. It, I mean, we really Prodigy. did kind of get. Yeah, we got Prodigy, H and I C, uh, Wu Tang, the W. Oh, here, here, your first one. Here go one of my, yeah, one of the first. Actually, they both coming up. So it had to be one of them, bro, because I got B G Checkmate is on November twenty first and came out same day as uh, Ball and G Space Age, uh, Damn. Space Age Forever. <sighs> so yeah, that's crazy. But oh, hold on, hold, hold on, on, on. the next week. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Same, same day. What's it? Everybody oh, Doggies say? Angels. I got it in the car right now on CD. And Capone and Noriega. <sighs> All on the same day. That's Next nuts. week, P with Ghetto's post. <laughs> Booty. He could have kept it in the mail. <laughs> he could have kept it in the mail. <laughs> kept it in the mail. I was hot about that one. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, bro. And then... No, I, I wasn't big on Flex or Memphis Bleak. I bought the understanding, week. though. The understanding, though, I'm going to tell you something, though. You know, do my, and you know, is that your chick? Those were on there. Yeah, I'm so mad. That's Memphis Bleak song, too, because that's great. When I first heard that, it was on a mixtape, like a Funk Flex tape or something like mm -hmm. that. And um, it was, when I seen it on the CD, it said, Jay-Z is over, man. That's what it was called. Damn. And so when he said, when I pimp a, I roll a man, I'm a dip mm -hmm. it's, it's over, over man. man. It was stop right there. It's over, man. And then Missy said, is that your bitch? They didn't say, is that your chick on the original version that I heard. Right. And I, I don't think bitch. Memphis Bleak was on there either. It was just Jay-Z rapping. 
when the hell you got that song from him? Jay Z was uh, helping boys out. Yeah, he was. Okay, bro. Uh, you you get ten percent, I get ninety. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> if you want this song, if you bro, want yeah. this song, yeah. Hey, I ain't Sh- mad at you. Straight up. Um, but, but yeah, yeah, Exhibit Restless came out on the twelfth of December. Classic. One of the greatest uh, West Coast albums of all time. Listened to it the other day when I was cutting the grass. Craziest snowing today. Um, but I mean, classic. Great, great production, great bars, great features. And like he said, this is around uh, Up in Smoke Tour. Mm-hmm. And what's crazy is, and what's crazy is, I bet you he, he was the opening act. Exhibit? And, and he had an album like this. He he wasn't even an act on the show. Not from the DVD I seen. The what? open Bro, the opening act was Ice Cube. That is Fucking Ice nice. Cube, West Side Connection, then Eminem, then Dre and Snoop. So they were bringing artists out during their sets then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, they was all bringing our artists out. Damn. Okay. So, and literally the next week, bro, look at this shit again, bro. Come on, man. Lil Wayne lights out, Snoop Dogg last meal. Mm. Man, we actually skipped one on the same day. And I'm only going to give it a, some love because it had one song on it. The QB's Finest? Uchi Wally was on there. <sighs> it was. Uchi Wally was Uchi on Wally there. was a big song, too. But this, this last meal, this was Snoop's last album on The Limit, and it was great. It was great. I'm trying to think. What was Lay Low? On? Yes. Lay Low? My shit? Love that damn song? Come on, man. Once again, Nate Dogg. Come on, man. Come on, peace. man. Rest in peace, bro. That Snoop Dogg, produced by Timberland. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Who's that mm-hmm. dipping in the Cadillac? Snoop. Wasn't he walking with the big trucks in the video? Yeah, and shit? yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. He had a... He was always, doing it for Shizzle, my nizzle. Was that in that yep, video? it was. It sure was. Damn. Damn oh, Stacy Adams. <laughs> we stay on point like Stacy Adams. That's another person I liked from the West Coast was Cocaine. Yeah, yeah. Cocaine. Cocaine was, yeah, he was nice. I feed liked up him. from the feed up. Man, that's. Yeah, man. That's. That's they ended, out that, they ended out that year. So, and even with Lil Wayne Lights Out, I mean, shit. Bro, that's. They had Get Off the Corner. Remember that shit? Yes. Get Off the Corner. Bro, it's so, an yeah, hour yeah. and 22 minutes. We did two years. Bro, that's what I'm saying. This is at least going to be, we'll be in 2000 now. Yeah. And we still got six years. This is at least going to be a five-part series, bro. 1,000%. So it, it's all set up because we dive in so deep into it. Just and, we, and we y'all. never predicted this. And then, like, I really want to, like we said, super-duper deep dive into some of these albums because this is Spaceships Down Memory Lane. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then maybe 20 years from now, somebody can break down the albums that's coming out now because it's – you gotta think our kids gonna be grown. Yeah, they everybody has different memories with music. Oh yeah, and that's what makes it so great. Everybody got a different story with something. It may be an album that I never heard that you got a whole story about, and vice versa. Yeah. So it, I've it, learned so much. Oh, bro, I, I told you after every episode, I go and start listening to albums. Like, fuck, I need to listen to that. Or Man. if I'm going back and doing the video later, I'm listening to it while I'm doing the video. Now I don't know if YouTube Music does this, but just check. If not. Go on there because, you know, yeah, the Apple Music. you, you, you yeah, on my yeah. stuff on there. Go to, they have a Behind the Boards playlist and and see if they got a Bangladesh one. It's going to blow your fucking mind. They have, oh, I'm definitely they have a whole bunch of them for different producers, but I'm telling you, it's nuts. When, when you crazy. Because you're going to learn about, I'm going to see if it's on here now, bro. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. That, that Bangladesh shit just blew my mind because... I love both. <laughs> well, I thought it was two different producers, but shit, yeah. I, both of them is like, yeah. It's crazy, bro. <sighs> I mean, come on, man. Come on, Apple Music. Behind the boards. But yeah, bro, it's... it's and to, oh, my goodness. Now, I, we got to say this before oh, this is over. We hold on. To, can, can, I get, can I get you real quick? Go ahead. Go ahead real quick. I got to leave. <laughs> What's your fantasy? Lemonade Gucci, Break Up Mario, A Millie Little Wayne, Diva Beyonce, Sleazy Kesha, Cockiness I Love It Rihanna, Bad Meets Evil, A Kiss, Bossy, Too Short, 
Sierra Hotline, Beyonce, video phone, six foot, seven foot, and did it on him. Just name some. Yeah, bro. Go ahead. Silly. Now, we got a, uh, I got these uh, first week sales going. Right now. And the first week, okay. Marshall Mathers LP did 1.6, well, 1.76 million. First week. God damn. Number two is Limp Biscuit with 1,060,000. What album was that? That uh, chocolate starfish and hot dog flavor water. They had rolling and all that. That in there. is one of my favorite albums yeah. ever. Yeah, that that was a good I, album. Oh, oh my goodness! Let me tell you, I, I let my son hear that and he loves it. One point seven the first week. Oh my god! But yeah, man, that is that was ninety nine and two thousand. We gonna be back with oh one to oh six to finish it off. We don't know how many episodes that's gonna take because we just getting into yeah. It. We we deep we we deep in this shit, bro. We deep deep in it. But yeah, bro, that's uh that's it. We see Miss Peaches with her Rockwilder. She need to come and get. Oh yeah, Miss Peaches, you need to come up in here and get this Rockwilder. And we gonna catch y'all next time, bro. Peace.